identify them, you begin to think that, okay, what do we have here which we can identify as outstanding universal value? And uh, without getting deviated into that subject, I think the Gandhian way of life mainly to do with Swadeshi, of using local. Swadeshi is not only Khadi, it is using local. And that is the, the most fundamental principle of an environmentally friendly existence. That if you use local, then you don't create a carbon footprint. And I think that ideology uh, is strongly connected to Swadeshi and to Gandhi. And at this, at the hotel, we are trying uh, everything possible to use only local material in the restoration happening. We are trying to use only local material. We are only using local crafts. We are not buying uh, machine-made things as far as possible. It can't be 100%, but the effort is certainly there to the extent that if I have to buy uh, bathroom ceramic fittings, I can't possibly make them, but I will buy them from a company which is based out of Gujarat rather than get them from wherever. So the same extends for everything, all the lights and flooring and wood and etc. Uh, we are, I think that Kantian stream runs through. And it is simple. It is mostly handmade. Most of the things are handmade, local, using natural materials. It may or may not be economical because economics, unfortunately, is only connected with the physical cost of things. People don't understand the time behind mm -hmm. taken to do it. You know, if you start counting the time involved in making anything custom made, perhaps it's more expensive than making buying something off the shelf. So I would the intention is not only intention is not to do with economy. It may work out physically that, but in terms of time, the project which I could have patched together within two years time will take four because each and everything in it is being made by hand. So, uh, I mean, give an example that switchboard, the switches are bought, but the board is made by hand from wood, from teak wood. I could have easily put a plastic board there, but each making that each teak wood board takes one mystery half a day and he has to make it to that size and cut the notches and it's, it's not as simple, you know. So... There's also a certain aesthetic which Find, I mean, I'm not a person who makes things with, uh, I don't make things with my hands, I can draw, you know, and I can film. But um, it's just made me think a lot more making this film about dexterity, hand dexterity, and what we've lost. What I'm unable to make, you know. So has it, has it, um, has the contact with all these hand artisans, hand crafting artisans, has that, um, been a learning process as well for you. I we didn't lose it mm. at home with the school that I went to and uh, the house, the lifestyle that I live. We do a lot by hand. We don't use machines for most things. The washing is done by hand. The ironing is done by hand. The cooking is done by hand. So everything is pretty much tactile still. Uh, and yes, with the changing lifestyles, it's difficult for people to afford to keep it that way because people have less time. But in India, that that problem doesn't exist of less time. Everybody has time because there are so many people who we can employ. It brings its own challenges. Like in this small hotel, there are 170 people. Now, 170 people for 15 rooms take some effort, you know. 
to manage and uh, uh, if I had everything automated then maybe I would have less people but maybe the feeling would be there and having the, the people are very much part of the atmosphere that if you go to the kitchen there is a whole community there cooking together they have a lifestyle and they live in a, in a place that we provide they cook together there we try and instill a philosophy in them the way they dress the way they conduct themselves you will notice a certain simplicity which is inherent in most people coming from rural parts of India which is being lost as soon as they enter the urban confusion the confusion in India is only in urban urban escapes, not in rural. Things are simple. Here, aspirations take over. You try and be something you're not. You begin to think that what you are is not good enough because you see on television, you are bombarded with media telling you that you should be like this and this is what's kept and this is what's cool and a person can get influenced, you know, a simple person can get influenced. So, I think at House of MG we try and create a sense of pride in what you have and when the whole world comes here and tells them that oh what you have is fantastic they feel a certain endorsement. Everybody needs some endorsement about whatever you do and that endorsement comes from our customers and, uh, and I, I keep emphasizing that and, and but that doesn't mean that you don't make progress. So we we respect what we have and move ahead without discarding what you have. Tendency here is to discard what you have and you adopt something you don't have, which is not, which is foreign. But but if you go to our hotel or live in our, if you eat in our restaurant, it's a state of the art in every possible way. You have the technology here, which maybe a five-star hotel may not have in your room. And we, I'm a very techno, uh, friendly person and I like to be updated with the uh, with technology and if you see our presence in the new media, I don't think any hotel in India has that kind of presence in new media, whether it's uh, uh, any social media site or video site or any, any place, we are, we are making a conscious effort to be omnipresent in the new media, not for any other reason but just to be on the learning curve. So I think that is India modern. My idea of India modern is a very strong identity of who you, your history, your culture with embracing of the future and that is uh, India modern for me and I think if you must label something, that's a label that I feel comfortable with. That I'm not trying to be ethnic or traditional or something, I'm trying to be today. House of MG is not a it's not a theme, it's a lifestyle. It's not a theme restaurant or it's not some theme that we are pursuing. It's a way of thinking and it is a current lifestyle and, and, and it moves with the times and it will continue to do so. And I think Ahmedabad is about people who uh, make things happen. Uh, I think really and I think it will in 10 years time, I am very confident, in 10 years time will be the foremost city in terms of design, e-commerce, infrastructure in all of India and uh, it will be because of uh, entrepreneurship and enterprise and people uh, knowing that they can make a difference not waiting for somebody else to do something. So the story which started with the cotton revolution continues with different kinds of cultural revolution and showing people the way today.